Hello learners and welcome again to my second series where we are looking at the titration and in particular here I'm taking you through some of very important tips that you need to know uh, in order to be able to handle the titration. Uh, it's important to mention here that the titration experiment uh, only will give you about five marks, five marks of this, but the other bit definitely will be the calculations. And that's why it's very critical to maybe understand how we got about the calculations that are there and the theories involved. So today I'll be taking you through what we call stoichiometry of chemical equations. Now, very fast, I've got to get into this here. I want us to just analyze an equation as simple as this one here that I have the sodium hydroxide here reacting with an acid like sulfuric acid sodium hydroxide here solution in other words it is aqueous sulfuric acid again it is aqueous and then the two here this is a base acid reaction that is a neutralization reaction will give us water and the salt when the salt of course happens to be sulfur because we are using sulfuric six acid and then we are going to have water that is what i'm talking about here the sodium sulfate of course is soluble now let us uh, analyze this equation here now uh before we get to this i want us to balance here and be able to see i have two sodiums on my right and if i put two here my well, i'm going to have two sodiums but on addition of two sodiums here you really know this are two hydrogen as well plus two these are four and therefore uh, if i put a two there two times two becomes four and you can see i have four hydrogens four hydrogens two plus four that is six oxygens four plus two i have six two sodiums and i have two so and it is balanced now a balanced chemical equation we call it stoichiometric equation stoichiometric equation i'll be mentioning why this why you call it this but i we can mention here that this balanced chemical equation here number one it shows an equation a chemical a chemical equation shows one it shows the reactants it shows the reactants it shows the reactants um it shows as well the product of course what is on our right it shows the products number three maybe we can also say it also shows the states the state physical states physical states of reactants and the products that's another thing that an equation will show all right and um yeah so basically this is what it will show but besides that there is another aspect that i'm calling stoichiometry and this one here any balanced equation will bring the quantitative aspect it will bring that quantitative relationship between the reactants and even the products formed that quantitative a relationship between these two now if you try to look at my equation here you can see that i have two sodium hydroxide plus one sulfuric six acid i can talk about two molecules of sodium hydroxide reacting with one molecule of sulfuric six acid forming a molecule of sodium sulfate and water now this one here means because the number of moles is as well or is proportional to the number 
uh, the number of moles and the number of particles, they are proportional, I can say that the, the ratio at which these two will react, it is 2 is to 1. This means if I have one mole of sulfuric six acid here, then I require two moles of sodium hydroxide to neutralize the one mole of sulfuric six acid. Now, when these two react, they will give me one mole, one mole of sodium sulfate and two moles of water. That is the reacting mole ratio the reacting mole ratio. Now, this quantitative uh, relationship between the reactants and maybe the products is what we call stoichiometry. Now, this is a very important uh, theory. It's a very important theory as far as our titration is concerned. Now, why am I saying this? Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because when I can be able to use this theory to standardize a solution like sulfuric six acid, as we shall look, uh, maybe as, as we, shall, we, shall, we shall be looking at it here. Now, if I do have the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, I can be able to know the number of moles of sulfuric six acid here because I know the ratio. I know the reacting mole ratio of the two here is 2 is to 1. Now, once I know the moles of sulfuric 6 acid that reacts, I can actually be, if I know the volume that reacted of sulfuric 6 acid that reacted, then I can get the molarity. Remember, we say that the molarity, I can get it from the moles, I divide by the volume, and I get the molarity. I get the molarity. That's what we are talking about. Now, therefore, uh, at number 4 here, we've just seen here, that this balanced equation here, um, the, it can show the reacting mole ratio. The reacting mole ratio. All right, the reacting mole ratio here. E.g., in our case here, we can tell, we can say here that the sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric six acid here. The ratio of sodium hydroxide to sulfuric six acid here is obviously to is to one. That's what you're talking about. Now this is what we call a stoichiometry. This is what we call stoichiometry, and this one tells us here that it is very key to be in a position to write a chemical equation, and not just a chemical equation, but to balance to balance a chemical equation. It is very, very, very critical. Uh, to be in a position to write this because if you're unable to write a balanced chemical equation here then you cannot actually be able to bring the aspect of stoichiometry you cannot be able to bring the aspect of stoichiometry so basically that's what we, we are talking about we can have maybe more examples here and we see what we're talking about i can have acids like this one here uh, with only one hydrogen in place of hydrogen we call them monobasic now uh, uh, this one here reacting with uh, again sodium hydroxide here now this one here uh, obviously gives me uh, sodium chloride plus water sodium chloride plus water now again here you look at this here uh, try to see whether it is balanced You can see that the equation is balanced here. There's one hydrogen, one hydrogen here. So one, uh, there's two hydrogens. The one plus two, one plus one here gets two. I have two here, one oxygen, one oxygen. Uh, I have one chlorine, one chlorine. Therefore, the equation is balanced here. Now, this one here, if I want to look at the stoichiometry bit, I see how are they related quantitatively. Uh, how are they related quantitatively? Now, this is how it is here. This means that it is one mole of HCA reacting, one mole of sodium hydroxide forming one mole of sodium chloride and one mole of water. Therefore, I can actually be able to say that the ratio of HCl uh, to sodium hydroxide, the reacting mole ratio, the reacting mole ratio is to one is to one. In other words, when I have such an equation here, if I get the number of moles of HCl, 
of course, maybe when, I, when I've been given the molarity and I've been given the volume because with the two I can be able to get the number of moles, then I can be able to get the number of moles of sodium hydroxide because the moles of HCl equal the moles of sodium hydroxide. That's what we're talking about. Now, let us try to look at uh, an application of this uh, in if you use an equation and we see uh, what we really mean by this. Now, you're given such a question, you're given such a question here, where that cubic center of the dilute sulfuric 6 acid completely neutralizes 25 of 0 0.6 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Find the number of moles of sulfuric acid used sulfuric acid used now i have been given the moles of sodium hydroxide i know the moles of sodium hydroxide and i because i have the molarity and i have the volume so i can be able to get the moles of sodium hydroxide here that means if i can be able to write an equation between sodium hydroxide and sulfuric six acid that one will definitely give me the mole ratio now, if it gives me the mole ratio, that means I'll be able to use that mole ratio to find the moles of sulfuric 6 acid, and eventually I will be set to go. Now, let's see now. So, let's first of all write uh, an equation of, on this. We are going to have uh, 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 sulfuric 6 acid plus sodium hydroxide. Uh, this gives us sodium sulfate plus water. We have we just written this here, and we have just seen here that I needed to put a 2 here. So that there are 2 sodium and 2 sodiums here, and the number of hydrogens here are 4 on this other side. If I put a 2 there so that they are 4, and we can actually be able to tell that the reactive mole ratio is 1 is to 2, as we have seen. Now, let me start by working out the moles of sodium hydroxide, the moles of sodium hydroxide now how you get the moles of sodium hydroxide here you can get the number of moles in the previous chapter i did talk about the molarity and i said that molarity can be given by the number of moles divided by volume in liters now if again the same same uh, formula if you are going to make the moles the subject of the formula here is that moles of sodium hydroxide can be gotten flow molarity times the volume again in liters. Look at that. Volume in liters. Volume in liters. That means here, I'll have my molarity here of sodium hydroxide, which is 0 0.6. 0 0.6. And then I'm going to multiply by the volume, uh, which is actually 25. I'm going to divide this one by 1,000. Uh, and when I worked out this one here, I'm able to get the moles of sodium hydroxide here. So I have 0.6 times 25. Um, divide by this one here, divide. Yes, and I get 0. A point. This is 0. 0 0.015 moles. This is 0 0.015 moles. Now, that means here, I can be able to get... Now, if you try to look at uh, the reacting mole ratio here, of sodium hydroxide here uh, to sulfuric six acid here I've just seen or we've just seen here the reactive mole ratio is 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 that means here that um, if I talk about the ratio 2 here and I equate this one to 0 0.015 moles and I think about the ratio of sulfuric six acid which is 1 that means that this will be 0 0.015 I'm just going to multiply I divide by 2, and this one is 0 0.0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.0075 moles of sulfuric 6 acid. 0 0.005 moles of sulfuric 6 acid. And basically, that's what we're talking about. Now, in a case where, in a case where, because one of the main aims of titration is to determine the concentration of solutions, what we call standardizing. Now, if the examiner expected you to standardize, 
something like sulfuric six acid after working out the volume of sulfuric six acid here uh, maybe to be 30 through titration now you can be able to get the molarity now let's talk about that uh, we think about uh, number two here molarity molarity let's, let's calculate the molarity now so our molarity here um, as we saw yesterday we are going to work it out from moles all the previous chapter moles I divide by uh, volume in the silica volume in the silica and therefore the moles of sulfuric six acid here happens to be 0 0.0075 I divide by the volume of sulfuric six acid here we had 30 convert to this 32 liters and you'll have a 0 0.03 0 0.03 here and once you work it out there you're able to get your molarity here and uh, then entry this one here uh, will be um, uh, 0 0.0075 I'm going to divide by 0 0.03 and you get it as 0 0.25 0 0.25 molarity sulfuric 6 acid that's what we are talking about 0 0.25 0 0.25 molarity sulfuric 6 acid so basically that is stoichiometry and that is how we go about it uh, thank you let's do more practice on this uh, so that we are ready and we get ready for our titration. Thank you very much.